Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be finding the general term of an arithmetic sequence. So in other words, a sub n is arithmetic and we're given the sum of the first n terms which is given by s sub n and we're going to be finding the general term for this arithmetic sequence. So I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I want to use the formula for the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. What is that formula? Do you know it? So here's how it goes. S sub n, which is a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus all the way up to n including a sub n, is given by the following formula. You take the first term, add the last term and divide by 2. This basically gives you the average of the first and last terms, which is basically the average of all the terms. So you can pretty much assume that everything is that number and then multiply it by the number of terms, which is going to give you the sum. Make sense? So let's go ahead and set this expression equal to our sum. And of course, we're going to be able to get something from here. But notice that this expression is factorable. We can factor out an n and write it as n times n plus 3. Now, n cancels out. Obviously, n cannot be 0, right? And from here, by cross multiplication, we get a sub 1 plus a sub n equals 2n plus 6. Good, but not so good, because I need to find a sub n, but I also have an additional term. How do I get rid of that? I mean, you don't have to, but uh, there's a couple ways to approach it. For example, since this is a general expression in terms of n, I can pretty much replace n with anything I want. So why not n equals 1, right? That's a good choice, isn't it? So when you replace n with 1 on both sides, you get a1 plus a1, or a sub 1, whatever you want to say. You're going to get 2a sub 1 equals 2 plus 6, which is 8. So from here, you get a sub 1, or a1 equals 8. a1 is the first term. How is that going to help us find the answer? Uh-oh, how am I dividing by 2? <laughs> Not very good with arithmetic, I guess. So a1 is equal to 4. Now you can go ahead and plug it in here, and that's going to give you a sub n equals 2n plus 6 minus 4 to n plus 2. So that will be the general term, and that will be the answer. But obviously, this is not the only way to approach this problem. We can also approach it a little differently. Now remember, we were given a formula for a s sub n, which is n squared plus 3n. Now what happens if you replace n with 1? You get the sum of the first one term, which is the first term, which is a sub 1. So s sub 1 and a sub 1 are the same. If you replace n with 1, you get 4, which is the exact same thing. You get the idea? Okay. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the second method real quick, because it's real quick. So, let's go ahead and expand a sub n, a sub 1, a sub 2, dot, dot, dot. Now, this is going to go all the way up to a sub n, but... There is another term be before that, which is a sub n minus 1, right? Now, this is helpful because if you consider the sum of the first n minus 1 terms, it is called s sub n minus 1. So we get a formula, s sub n equals s sub n minus 1 plus a sub n. So from here, if you are trying to solve for a sub n, which is this one, you can basically write it as s sub n minus s sub n minus 1. In other words, if you... From the sum of the first n terms, if you subtract the sum of the first n minus terms, you end up with the nth term, which is what we're trying to find. Make sense? Okay, we have a formula for s sub n, but what is the other one? Easy, look. If s sub n is this, this is kind of like a function, like a formula, all I have to do is replace n with n minus 1. Look at that. So it's going to be n minus 1 squared plus 3 times n minus 1. Just substitute. Let's go ahead and expand this. This should give us a sub n, which is pretty quick, right? So we get n squared plus 3n minus the quantity n squared minus 2n plus 1 plus 3n minus 3. Notice that n squared cancels out, 3n cancels out. You get minus minus 2n, which is 2n. And then 1 minus 3 is negative 2, but negate it one more time. And you're going to get the answer as before, the exact same thing. And... This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.